Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head to Italy for the first time in a little while and it's not often that I get to review Italian beers for you on the channel so it's always a nice occasion when I do manage to find some. This time we are going to do my first review from Birificio del Ducato. I've only ever had beers that these guys have done in collaboration so this is my first dedicated review to a Del Ducato beer. This one's the Vielle Villa Saison if I've pronounced that correctly. It's 6% ABV and it's a sour saison this one. It got a 93 overall on rate beer so it should be really quite nice. This is a brewery of course that I've heard very good things about and I know the Bira Artigianale that are coming out in Italy now, the craft beers there are really quite good and Italian beer just has a bit of a different feel to it I find than uh, some of the other countries that do craft beer. They treat it a little bit more like wine in a way so some of the beers that these guys produce are uh, really quite interesting. So if you're watching from Italy, please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that I should check out because I know there's some great stuff down there. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual links are in the description below. That's the brewery website, the link to my future reviews that hopefully I can do from Birificio del Ducato. Very first time I'm doing a dedicated review to these guys, like I said. There's all the usual social media. If you want to see more beer reviews, do consider subscribing to the channel. The whole channel of course has a geography based tagging system so you can go into the home page and search for beer based on country, city, state, province, whatever it is you're interested in. There are playlists there as well for the beers from different countries. There is one for all my Italian beers that you can check out and as always please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review especially if you're watching from Italy. It's always great to hear from you guys and the support that you give the channel is hugely appreciated. So anyway to tell you a little bit about, about, about beer del Ducato then. So Birificio del Ducato were founded back in 2007 in a small village called Roncole Verde in Parma province in Italy which is also the birthplace of renowned Italian composer Giuseppe Verde. If you're wondering exactly where this is, it's almost halfway between uh, Bologna to the southeast and Milano to the northwest. It's almost right in the middle of those two cities. But the brewery was founded by Giovanni Campari, who holds a degree in food science, and also by his friend Manuel Piccoli, who had a background in logistics. These two guys apparently met back in 2005 at a stall that was selling, selling kind of artisan beers at a festival, and they just started talking and got the idea that they wanted to found a brewery together. So it's quite an interesting story about how it came around. But initially, they had to put a lot of work into actually building up their first brewery and to deal with the Italian bureaucracy as well was really quite difficult because if they didn't get their license of course they weren't allowed to legally produce but since its foundation this brewery really has grown and they're, they've, they've grown their exports year on year and they've won many medals in different beer competitions so they're probably one of the easier craft breweries from Italy to find in different countries around the world uh, they're probably one of the best known Italian craft breweries these days actually but in 2012 they began work on a warehouse in Soragna which is a about three kilometres from Roncola and this would become the next brewery of uh, Verificio del Ducato and that one is in full production now I believe and they've kept their older brewery as a sour beer facility and I believe that is where this particular beer was manufactured rather than the bigger factory but if you go and look on their website you'll see the pictures of their very first brewery and it's an almost it's really beautiful looking actually it's a very kind of classical sort of Italian style house and they've obviously they put a lot of work into it to get it up and running and it is cool that's the whole point of craft beer start off small and you know kind of build up a little bit and sp spread your beer throughout the regions and stuff so a very cool story from Birificio del Ducato and like I say it's always cool to try some of these Italian craft beers so yeah that's all you need to know about Birificio del Ducato just now if you want to read more about them of course you can check out the website in the description below it's available both in English and in Italian of course and like I say please do get in touch and let me know some other beers and breweries maybe as well from that Parma region that it would be quite interesting interesting to hear from you guys that are watching from there but without further ado then let's get on to the tasting of this beer so yeah I like how the artwork is on this one you can see the kind of the cockerel I don't know how you would say that in Italian of course but the cockerel there is the kind of symbol of one of the symbols of a Birificio del Ducato there you can see this uh, kind of shield thing here is their symbol that's also on the bottle cap of this beer as well but really nicely presented it's actually got Latin on the side there I'm not going to try and read that I did Italian at school but not Latin and I can't remember all that much of the Italian right enough, but it was good fun to learn at the time. Um, but yeah, 6% ABV, this one, a sour saison. It does say on the side here, produced 
at Roncoli Verde di Busetto in Parma province and I think it is best before the 31st of December 2020 so it seems as if it will last quite a long time this beer but I got this one from the Sistian Bolaget Small Partiers here in Sweden so yeah it should be quite nice this one imported by Stockholm HB apparently the original brand so yeah let's get this guy out then and we'll get on with the tasting and this is one of the things with Italian beers they always put random bottle caps on them or random size bottle caps that you can never ever open properly why Italy why do you do this that is the one thing with Italian beer I wish they would just put normal sized bottle caps on their beer but what can you do their beer's good that's the main thing but please use proper bottle caps instead of these random bigger ones that seem to be on your beers in future but yeah there's a lot of carbonation in this beer just listen to that as it pours yeah that's quite cool so yeah as you can see and as you would expect this beer has poured a really kind of hazy um, yeah, it's a sort of golden straw colour, this one. You can see the head has just completely disappeared, but there was a lot of white kind of foamy character to this one. It's completely opaque as well. If I put my fingers behind the beer, you can see there's not a lot of light actually getting through that one. I think it's fair to say this one's almost like a kind of mushed apple colour or something like that. Sort of pale, golden straw colour, but a little bit more kind of richer. and almost, It's almost like the inside of an apple pie, actually, the colour that you're getting from this beer. But some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of where the head should be. But a very, very thin, foamy layer to this one. It's almost, there's just pretty much no head to this beer. But it looks very nice. It's kind of what you would expect from a Saison, albeit you'd expect a little bit more head from it. And when you open up the bottle, of course, you get some of these nice, kind of a bready yeasty characters that you would normally expect but yeah let's have a closer look at the aroma then and see how we get on that's quite interesting I mean you can smell a little bit of the kind of sharp tart sour character that you would normally expect but yeah it's 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 got an interesting breadiness to this one there's a nice big white bready character this it's got the bready yeasty notes some kind of almost clovey spice to it. You can get a bit of wheaty character, like I'm saying. There's some sort of floral and grassy character. It's mainly grassy hop that I'm getting out of this one. And it's almost a little bit kind of... It's almost a little bit like lemongrass too. And that mixes very well with those really sharp, citricky, tart characters that you're getting from this beer. But yeah, it's really, really nice. Yeah, I like how the aroma comes across on this one. It really does smell. It's got everything you'd expect from the Saison, but just the addition of that little kind of sharp, tart, citricky character. So yeah, take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of this one before you get stuck into it. But we will try this beer now. So this one is the Vieille Ville Saison from the Birificio del Ducato in Roncoli Verde in Parma province in Italy. Slangia. or I believe it's salute, as you would say in, it in Italian, if I'm remembering correctly. But that's nice. I like how this beer comes across. In terms of sour beers, that's really nice. That's one of the best ones I've reviewed on the channel for you, actually. The Saison is a style that I really enjoy. There's a lot of... Uh, breweries kind of experimenting with this these days but they've done a really good job with this one I have to admit the sour character it, it comes across just like a normal season as you go into the aftertaste but the, sh the sour kind of sharp character that it has in the initial part of the beer is really really nice Yeah, I like that. If you get the chance to try this beer, I recommend that you do. If you like your beers to be nice and kind of smooth and bready, you're going to enjoy this one. It's just got a little bit of sour character to it, which is nice. And the, the whole point of this beer, it's not too punchy in any one part of its flavour. It just blends together really nicely and gives you a lot of, diff uh, gives you a lot of complexity to the flavour. There's a lot of things going on in this one. And it just all goes together really quite well. So, as I say, if you enjoy Saisons, I think you'll enjoy this beer. If you like sour beers, I think you're going to enjoy this as well. And if you like the way that they can potentially combine, this one is going to hit the spot perfectly for you. I like what they've done with this one. Mm. 
but that's a nice beer. Try it if you get the chance. So yeah, let's examine the flavour a little more closely then. So at the on the middle of your palate, you get this nice light, almost pale, malty, bready character. That just blankets the middle of your tongue. On top of that, you start to get the kind of slightly thicker, wheatier notes out of this beer. There's a little bit of the, if you go right into the middle of your palate, there's a little bit of these bigger, bready, yeasty notes coming out of this beer as well. Yeah, now that's nice. You have, there's almost, I'm almost getting just a little bit of a biscuity character out of this one right in the middle of my tongue, but mainly those big doughy, bready, yeasty things are sitting there in the middle of the palate and it's just got a nice blend of flavour to it, this. If, you know, you really need to try this for yourself and see everything that's going on. In the back corners of the palate I'm getting just a little tiny, tiny bit of earthiness but as you come forward along the sides of your palate where the hoppy character, of course, is going to come out, there's a really nice almost floral aspect to this beer. It's got a little bit of a kind of spicy character to it as well. You'll feel the dryness there on the front corners of your palate, but as you go round the very front curve of the tongue, it's a bit lighter and grassy. There's almost a kind of lemon grassy character to this beer, which suits the sort of citric notes that you're getting from the Britannomyces in the beer. Yeah. If you just go behind the front curve of the palate, you'll get that little oily bubble where the fruity character always comes out, and it's a light sort of lemon grassy type citrus that you're getting from there. As I say, that goes quite well with the grassy hops around the front curve of your palate. The sour character in this beer, it's nowhere near as sharp and sour as some of the other ones that I've come across before, but it's just balanced very nicely with the, the saison element of the beer. Yeah, the sour elements of the beer come out around the very kind of the sort of front curve of your palate too, you can feel that sharp, citricky tartness there. And it just goes together really, really quite well actually. I love how this beer blends together. As I said, it's not too punchy in any one regard. It, this is all about how the flavours blend together. And that's one of the things you do tend to find in my experience with Italian beers. They're all about the kind of harmony between the flavours. It's almost a little bit like Italian food in a way, I guess. It's all about how the flavours kind of blend together and give you a really nice overall sort of thing. But um, I really like how this beer comes comes across. So a big thumbs up to Benificio del Ducato for this one. In terms of the mouthfeel of this beer, um, I would say this guy is somewhere between light and mid-bodied. It's nowhere near as heavy as some of the Saisons that I've come across before. But then again, it is a sour beer, kind of wild ale type thing. So. That is what you'd expect. Personally, I always find that the sour beers and wild ales are a little bit lighter in the mouthfeel than the others, but I'd say somewhere between light and mid-bodied. The carbonation on this one does give it a good bit of crispness, but at the same time, there's a light kind of oiliness to the beer. It's mainly a wet mouthfeel, though it's wet and crisp, this one. There's a good bit of smoothness to the, uh, to the malt base. There's a nice kind of... Um, there's a nice sort of just sweetness and very smooth character to the malts in there as well. There's a good little bit of hoppy bitterness, but not too much. It's not a very, uh, it's not got a very high IBU count this one, and there's just a little bit of that fruity juiciness and a good bit of that kind of sour sharpness as well. But it's a nicely done beer, and I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this again. I would love to try it on tap in Italy sometime, and I think that's another thing you have to bear in mind with Italian beer as well when it comes to the mouthfeel they probably are going to be a little bit wetter and a bit lighter just because of the sort of climate that you have in Europe and I guess that goes for all of Southern Europe generally. They want their beers to be nice and drinkable but also refreshing at the same time. But yeah, overall, Birificio del Ducato have done a really nice job with this one and on the basis of this, I do want to try some of their other beers. So I'll need to see if I can seek those out and review some more of them for you on the channel. But yeah, great job with this one. So I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink it again. So yeah, and thank you once again for watch my beer reviews until the next time please like subscribe share all the usual youtube stuff make sure you check out my social media let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below if you've tried it before let me know what other beers i should have a look at from Beneficio del ducato i'd love to try some things from their non-sour range as well so anything that these guys do let me know what your favorite ones are it's always great to hear from you guys but if you get the chance to check out the viela viela saison Probably never going to pronounce that one quite correctly, but if you get the chance to try this one, it's good if you like both uh, saisons and sours. It combines just to be a really nice beer, this, so try it if you get the chance. Until the next time, slander just now, and I will catch you guys very soon. Salute.